Hi there, my name is Chris Downing, Application Engineer for Man and Machine UK. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the share views and share drawing functionality within AutoCAD and Inventor. So starting with AutoCAD, you can see I've switched to the Collaborate tab at the top here. And I'm going to start off with the share drawing view, which is only available in AutoCAD. So if we select share drawing, I will share a copy of the current version of drawing, including X references, in a link that inspires in seven days. So it does exactly what it says it does. It creates a link online, which can be view only or edit and save a copy. And we can copy that link and we can preview how it's going to look online as well. But this little link here will take us straight to your internet browser and straight to that view that you've shared. Okay, so this, as it says, let's just repeat that, edit and save a copy. All right, so it does exactly that. You can create or view this drawing. And if you wanted to make changes to it, you can make a copy of it. So a save as you can see at the top here. We have some nice functionality. We have the ability to look at the properties of items. We have the ability to look at the layers, turning them on and off, should we wish. Even changing their color. Again, we're not editing the original file. We're just editing a copy of it. So we can also see the blocks within a drawing and see how many of that block there are in the drawing. Any X references and to view and create traces. Down the bottom here, we have that draw, annotate and modify functionality. So we can draw stuff on our drawing. We can annotate it and we can modify it with the, the usual AutoCAD modification tools. We've also got command line here a model tab and the layout tab where we can create additional layouts should we wish and down the very bottom right here we've got the ability to snap to different object snaps um, whether we have our object track switched on or off whether we're in ortho mode or not and whether we're using the polar tracking or not we can also print directly from here and we've also got notifications. If you wanted to make a copy of it, you can do a save as, and it will save it somewhere on your cloud drive. Okay, so the next one I want to show you is the shared views option here. So we'll, this time we'll select share view, and it will bring up the share view panel, giving you a history of all your share views. I've got one from Inventor and a couple here from AutoCAD. Okay, so we can load one of these views or we can create a new one. So I'll start off with creating a new one. So I'll click new share view and we get to give the, the view a name. Then we choose to what we want to share and how we want to share it and click share. The software then goes ahead and creates the view in the background. Once the view is complete, You'll see a message giving you a link to view the share view in a browser. We can also hit the refresh on here and we'll see the additional view which has just been created. So I'll click on the link and it'll open the view in the internet browser. So just like on the share drawing browser, we have a model. We also have the sheet spaces. We also have the ability to look at the layers and turn them on and off. We also have the ability to look at the properties of an object, whether it be a chair or a line. Down the bottom here we have ability to take us to our home view, to pan around and zoom, take measurements 
make comments which are signed and dated and also make markups. We'll select cloud and we'll select the right weight and I'll create a cloud around here and put an arrow on here and put some text on here. Once we're happy with the, the markup, we'll click save. And it creates an additional comment with those markups. You can share that comment or markup using this link here, which you can copy easily and paste it into a new tab. So yes, very useful. But we can also do this in Inventor. So I'll open up Inventor now. And just the same as in AutoCAD, we have a Collaborate tab. And here we can create a shared view. Again, we've got our shared views that are being created. And we can load any of these from here. So I could load one of these old ones from here. It loads up into the browser and we can do all those wonderful things of commenting, and measuring and making markups. But we can also share a view of our 3D model from here. So I'll select share new shared view from here. Give it a name and choose what we want to do with the component names and part names so we can hide them or not hide them. So I'll choose not to. So it starts to process the view. Once the view is created, we've got a similar thing where we can view it in browser or copy the link. If we go back on here, we should see now we have a new view created and we can select it from here, should we wish. The view processes and creates. You will get an email notification as well once the view is complete. Yeah, so we have the model browser where we can view each model, even hide one of the models, should we wish. Even view each part. And just like before, we've got the ability to orbit, pan around, and take measurements. And we've also got the ability, take me back to my home view and switch everything back on again, to take section views. Which we can even rotate. So we've got section views and also box sections, should we wish. And it's all very straightforward and easy to use. We've also got the ability to explode. if we like. And again, we can view the parts and their properties. And we also have, of course, the ability to, to make markups. So let's just take a quick measurement here. And do a distance measurement from here to here. Make a markup. Oops. Just use undo there. Except for I've lost my uh, dimension there from using the undo, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we can load the markup and view it. We can also take screenshots and download them and share it with other people as well. Okay, so in a nutshell, it's a powerful tool that's used for collaborative reasons to share the file with people that do not have AutoCAD or Inventor, which allows you to either make copies of drawings and edit them, 
online or make comments, take measurements and just validate a drawing or a model without the need of any software. It's all done online. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please feel free to contact Manor Machine if you have any questions at all. Cheers. Bye bye.